the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his sects. Praise be the Lord. Israelites, one thing the heathens will not allow is outsiders dictate what they do regardless of the truth. The serpent seed do not let history stop them from accomplishing their will. If history get in their way, they simply change history. Whitewash books and historical figures use censorship to silence the opposition to continue with their delusions. The serpent seed is loyal to their idols and people. The serpent seed know and understand that a kingdom and a household that is divided will fall. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Israelites, if you don't believe division will destroy a nation and a household, look at Putin and his army. He is against his brethren. Because the spirit of division was sent to those nations, they are killing themselves. Their nations are being destroyed as well as the other heathen nations that has affiliations with those nations. A trial has multiple purpose. If the current war between the two nations is not a good example of the cancer division caused, look within. The indigenous black communities worldwide are destroyed. The men are against their own women and children. The women are against the men. Some indigenous black people are against other black people from various parts of this world. For the son dishonoreth the father. The daughter riseth up against her mother. The daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies are the men of his own house. Unity does not exist in the black community. That is how the kingdom of darkness can devastate the indigenous black people undetected. The spirit of division caused destruction, enabling the people to unite. The scripture said, if Satan casts out Satan, he is divided against himself. If he is divided against himself, how does his kingdom stand? And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? The kingdom of darkness used the serpent seed to oppress the indigenous black people. If the indigenous black people are oppressed, Satan will continue to be the god of this world. He will retain the dominion that belonged to the indigenous black people. Satan will give the heathens a false sense of security with the power they have over the indigenous black people. The heathens do not comprehend that the control they have over the indigenous black people is temporary. Once the indigenous black people repent and turn from their wicked ways, their misfortunes would be reversed. It is because of the indigenous black people's downfall, the heathens are in power. The reason the serpent seed is confident in the power they have over the indigenous black people, they have yet to be judged for their wickedness. The iniquity of the heathens are not yet full for the wrath of the Most High to descend upon them. But in the fourth generation they shall come hither again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. Each prophecy must be fulfilled first that leads to the judgment of the heathens. It is important to know the timeline and what season we are in. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High send the heathens a strong delusion that they would believe lies. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. In the mix of crisis, the serpent seed has time to discriminate against the indigenous black people. The serpent seed actually believe the world revolve around them and nobody else. That is why they treat the indigenous black people and the subspecies in their group like trash. Israelites, there is a reason the Most High allowed the wicked heathens to be this way. Their iniquities would enable them to receive salvation. Not everyone was chosen. Religion would have you believe everyone is chosen, but that is not true. 
Many were called, but a few was chosen according to the words of the Most High. For many are called, but few are chosen. The children of the serpent seed are born for destruction. That is why they are barbaric in nature. Mainstream media wants to convince the indigenous black people that the serpent seed is a group of civilized people. So many so-called journalists are saying, we don't often see war in European countries. Yet every world war was started by them. The genocide of the indigenous black natives in North, South, and Central America was caused by them. The virus that caused the most recent pandemic was created by them. Racism and discrimination continue to prevail in every generation because of them. Mainstream media would have you believe they are civilized. The media is portraying the children of the serpent seed as loving middle class people. They don't want you to focus on the fact that these civilized people are killing themselves in a war. I guess they've changed the meaning to the word civilized. How can those who were chosen to be vessels of dishonor be civilized? The scriptures reveal to us that the children of the watchers are doing what they are born to do, still kill and destroy. For owing to these three things came the flood upon the earth. Namely, owing to the fornication wherein the watchers against the laws of their ordinance went a whoring after the daughters of men and took themselves wives of all which they choose and they made the beginning of uncleanness and they begot sons, the Naphidim, and they were all unlike and they devoured one another and the giants slew the Naphil and the Naphil slew the Eljo and the Eljo mankind and one man another. And the spirits of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle, and work destruction on earth and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men and against the women, because they have proceeded from them. Civilized and the serpent seed does not belong together. Majority of the superpower heathen nations of today have weapons of mass destruction and their leaders of those nations are the other species of mankind. According to mainstream media, top of the line journalism, there are civilized people. Why do civilized people need large inventory of nuclear weapons? Civilized people spread peace and love, not war and destruction. Israelites and indigenous black people, the workers of iniquity do not want you to know the other species of mankind's purpose. The scriptures reveal to us that the watchers taught their sons how to make advanced technologies and weapons. Israelites, look how the scriptures are confirming the mysteries of life. No wonder the synagogue of Satan discredit and remove many books from the Bible. How many of you still in denial that the other species of mankind are the children of the wicked one? To the indigenous black people who followed them, don't wait until the day of judgment to believe. By then it will be too late. And Azazel taught man to make swords and knives and shields and breastplates and made known to them the metals of the earth and the art of working them and bracelets and ornaments and the use of autonomy and the beautifying of the eyelids and all kinds of costly stones and all coloring tinctures. And on the day of the great judgment, he shall be cast into the fire and heal the earth which the angels have corrupted and proclaim the healing of the earth, that they may heal the plague and that all the children of men may not perish through all the secret things that the watchers have disclosed and have taught their sons. There are vessels made for honor and some for dishonor. The serpent seed was chosen for dishonor. The book of Jubilees revealed to us that the spirit Mastema asked the Most High to allow some of the serpent seed to remain behind. To those of you who don't understand how the seed of the fallen continued to appear after the flood, Mastema asked the Most High to allow a few to survive. Mastema said to the Most High, if he did not allow some of the serpent seed to stay behind, how could he judge the children of men? And the chief of the spirits Mastema came and said, Lord, creator, let some of them remain before me and let them hearken to my voice and do all that I shall say unto them. For if some of them are not left to me, I shall not be able to execute the power of my will on the sons of men. 
but these are for corruption and leading astray before my judgment, for great is the wickedness of the sons of men. And he said, Let the tenth part of them remain before him, and let nine parts descend into the place of condemnation. As you have heard, the scripture said, man's wickedness is great. The Most High used the seed of the fallen to chastise his people. The mistake of the heathens is that they have become blinded by the power. They are misled to believe they have absolute power. If Satan and his angels had absolute power and can do as their heart desire, how come his children are fighting themselves? Only the Most High have absolute power. Before the kingdom of darkness can do anything, they must get permission. It was the Most High that gave Satan permission to be an adversary to Job. The Most High did not give Satan absolute power. The Most High restrict him from killing Job. As for everything else, he had permission, even killing Job's children. And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand, but save his life. What we are witnessing right now between the heathen nations is the Most High using what the kingdom of darkness meant for evil against themselves. The scriptures made it known in the book of Obadiah, as the heathens have done, it will be done to them. The Most High has a history of making the heathens destroy themselves. If the Most High is not the one stirring the heart of the current leaders, this would conclude Satan's kingdom is divided. The scriptures made it known that the kingdom of darkness is not divided. The Most High appoint kings and dethrone them. The Most High would stir the heart of whomever to do his will. And the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, king of Assyria, and the spirit of Tilgath, Pilnezer, king of Assyria. And he carried them away, even the Reubenites and the Gadites and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and brought them unto Halah and Habor, and Hara, and to the river Gozam, unto this day. And God stirred him up another adversary, Rezan, the son of Iliadah, which fled from his lord Hadadezer, king of Zobah. Israelites, always keep in mind that the Most High has the final say. If the Most High wants something done, he will get the leaders of the earth to do his will. Israelites, it is important for you to know that the kingdom of darkness is not a divided kingdom. The scriptures reveal to us unclean spirits will share a human body. An unclean spirit has no problem bringing other spirits more wicked to take over a person. The man in the tomb is a very good example of legions of unclean spirits cohabitating in a person. The book of Matthew revealed the behavior pattern of unclean spirits who are cast out of a person. Then go with he and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Unclean spirits are willing to cohabitate with other spirits that are more powerful to see to it the kingdom of darkness will is done. The serpents seek support and protect their own to make sure they maintain control and they survive. The indigenous black people need to rebuke the spirit of division, denounce every evil covenant made with the spirit of division to begin to see change in the indigenous black community. The serpent seed remain loyal to their idols and unite with their people to make sure they remain on top. The heathens encouraged and at times made the indigenous black people conform to their religion to worship their gods. The heathens did not submit to the Elohim of Israel. They altered the scriptures to make it appear as if they worship your God, but they are loyal to their idols. One of the many problems the Most High has with his people is that they will forsake the Most High to serve idols, despite knowing that the Elohim of Israel is the only true God. And they transgressed against the God of their fathers and went a whoring after the gods of the people of the land whom God destroyed before them. Israelites, do not be deceived by the reign of the children of the wicked one during the times of the heathens. The power they have is not permanent. Despite the heathens being in control for a long period of time, their dominion is temporary. The scriptures reveal that the Most High gave his people power over the entire kingdom of darkness. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. 
and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Israelites and indigenous black people, you must know what the word of the Most High said. If the Israelites and indigenous black people comprehend the power the Most High gave them over the kingdom of darkness, the times of the heathen would have ended a while ago. Despite of the era we are living in, the Most High has the final say. The Most High determined what would take place. The kingdom of darkness doesn't have absolute control, despite of Satan being the god of this world. The kingdom of darkness dominion is temporal. At any time, the Most High can stir the hearts of the kings of the earth to do his will. Towards the end of the times of the heathens, there will be wars. Nations will rise against other nations. The scriptures inform us when you see the armies encamp around Jerusalem, know that the times of the heathen is coming to an end. When the times of the heathens end, the days of vengeance begin. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountains, and let them which are in the midst of it depart out. And let not them that are in the countries enter therein too. For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. The day of vengeance is the great tribulation. The Most High said vengeance is his and he will repay. The Most High made it known he will recompense the heathens for parting his land and polluting his land with their detestable practices. Also, he would judge the nations that enslave his people. There is only one group of people in this world that are enslaved. That is the indigenous black people. The people that are claiming Jacob's inheritance and living in the land today were never enslaved to any nations. The day of vengeance is when the heathens must pay for their iniquities. Nobody is exempt from the consequences of sin. The Israelites are the most highest chosen people, yet they are paying for the consequences of their sin and iniquities. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The delusion of the heathens is hard to watch. The heathens believe despite of all their wickedness, the Most High will say to them, Well done, my good and faithful servants. The Bible made it known the wages of sin is death. For the wages of sin is death. Creating a God to take away your sins will not save you. The scriptures made it known everyone must give an account for every word spoken and their works as well. The heathens spent their time being an enemy to the Most High, creating laws that are contrary to the laws of the Most High. When the day of vengeance come, that is when the heathens will be held accountable for their sins and iniquities. When the armies are encamping around Jerusalem, the people that are living in the land are the heathens. In the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 24, revealed Jerusalem will be trodden of the heathens until the times of the heathens are fulfilled. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The other species of mankind are convinced that the history taught to them by their people are true. Many heathens believe the Most High support their diabolical ways. The serpent seed is aware that the synagogue of Satan changed history, altered the scriptures, and still kill and destroy to be in the position they are in right now. Regardless of how their leaders achieve the power that give them privilege in the beast system, they will support their own. Remember, the kingdom of darkness is not a divided kingdom. The heathens' wickedness is a testimony against them. The heathens will be without excuse. By the time they realize they have inherited lies, it will be too late for them. O oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. No king reigns forever. The power they have during their rulership is temporary. At any time, an army can come against the king and dethrone him. The heathens refuse to accept that what is first shall become last, and what is last shall be first. The heathens will try to prolong their dominion, but the scriptures made it known that the times of the heathens will end. So the last shall be first, 
and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. Right now, the heathens are scrambling to escape the wrath that has come upon them. If they truly served the Elohim of Israel and had the spirit of the Most High to lead them, they would not put their confidence in their leaders, nor put their trust in their money. The times of the heathens is heaven on earth for the wicked. All that they will inherit it is what they have on earth. That is why they are fighting to keep it. This is their luxury because the heathens eternity is the lake of fire. Any Israelite and indigenous black person who followed them will suffer the same fate as the heathens. The Most High gave everyone enough time to repent and turn from their wickedness. The scriptures reveal to us, despite of all the calamity, the heathens will see, they will refuse to repent. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues yet repented not of the works of their hands, that they should not worship devils and idols of gold and silver and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear nor walk. Neither repented they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, nor of their thefts. The heathen's fate is predestined. The people of the Most High are not predestined for the lake of fire. The Israelites and indigenous black people have allowed Satan to blind their eyes with the lust of this world. In addition, with their unwillingness to serve the Most High, hell has enlarged itself. Therefore hell hath enlarged herself, and opened her mouth without measure, and their glory, and their multitude, and their pomp, and he that rejoiceth shall descend into it. The Most High did not create the lake of fire for his people, nor does the Most High find pleasure in the suffering of his people. Therefore, the Most High is helping his people by appointing teachers and prophets that will help increase his people's knowledge at such a time like this. The scriptures reveal the truth will set his people free. The Israelites and indigenous black people must seek to find the truth. The truth is everywhere currently. The Most High is increasing his people's knowledge. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. The signs of times are pointing to the end of the time of the heathens. Every era must come to an end. The Most High will use the heathens to carry out his judgments upon all the wicked. Israelites, it is important for you to be able to discern who is stirring the hearts of the current leaders today. No Israelite should be surprised by the mistreatment received by the heathens. The heathens are aware of the power fighting against them. The indigenous black people must be vigilant to understand the signs of times. The Most High said during the times of vengeance, you will be betrayed by your people and friends. Some of you they will put to death. Everyone will hate you. And you shall be betrayed, both by parents and brethren and kinsfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not an hair of your head perish. The world saw how the heathens treated the indigenous black people who tried to flee the region of the world where the wrath of the Most High is kindled against the heathens. If you have eyes to see, you are witnessing the scriptures being fulfilled. Israelites, stop allowing the hatred from the other species of mankind and the enemies within surprise you. It is written, when the times of the heathens end and the day of vengeance begin, know that your redemption is near. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draweth nigh. The conclusion of the times of the heathens brings the wrath of the Most High. Religion focuses on an idol whose purpose is to deceive the remnant. If religion was of the Most High, the church wouldn't be powerless against the kingdom of darkness, nor would governments appointed by Satan control the church. The Most High said, I will build my church, and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The moment the people of the Most High return to serving Him in the Spirit and in truth, repent from their sins and iniquity, your prayers reach the ears of the Most High, Satan and his people know that they have but a short time. 
Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. The next phase would be the times of vengeance, which is the great tribulation. The Most High, who is sovereign, is carrying out his will in the heathens' nations to accelerate the times of the heathens. The book of Matthew revealed to us during the great tribulation, if the days were not shortened, none would survive. The great tribulation is the time the Most High is judging the nations. Do not let the illusion, the kingdom of darkness placed before you, blind your eyes to rebel against the Most High. What Satan is offering you cannot compare to what the Most High is preparing for those whose heart love the Elohim of Israel. But as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. All things written must be fulfilled. Israelites, focus on yourselves and people. The scripture is made it known there is a season for everything. As the signs of times are being fulfilled, remain loyal to the Elohim of Israel. Do not give the spirit of fear any place in your heart. Continue to serve the Most High in the spirit and in truth. It is the Most High that fight for his people. Israelites and indigenous black people, allow the Most High to be your king. Let go of the ways of this world. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper.